Hello and welcome to the garage. Today I'm going to show you what I've done to spruce up the interior of the Elan. You are probably familiar with the grey carpets that the factory fitted in the Elan. What you may have not realized is that in the boot, the carpets are actually black. So, what I've decided to do is to dye the carpets on the front black, just like the ones on the rear. As you can see, there's a considerable difference in the color. And well, uh, I guess the only thing left to do now is showing the process, right? The first thing I've done was to give the carpets a thorough cleaning with a vacuum cleaner. So after the carpets were cleaned, all I had to do was to uh, read the instructions on the carpet dye, uh, which actually were on the internet, and uh, get started with the process. The process is actually pretty simple. First, I need to spray a coat of dye evenly on the carpet, and after that, the carpet needs to be heated somehow. I have used a heat gun, but uh, according to the instructions, you could use a blow dryer. Uh, and this heat will allow the, the carpet to take. The problem with the process is that there's a very fine line between getting the fibers stuck together or uh, actually getting the dye to, to take. Uh, so if, if it's too hot, they, they start gluing themselves and then you lose that fluffiness feeling that the carpet has. And if it's not hot enough, the dye just won't take. So what worked best for me was actually to... Uh, use a bit of a scrub, something to scrub the, the carpet while I was using my heat gun and just scrub it to make sure that all the fibers were loose and use the heat gun. And by scrubbing and using the heat gun, I was kind of just leveraging the right amount of heat. And uh, in between each heat session, I was also using a bit of spray with water to just the water get into the fibers and then as it boils, it kind of separates them. So that's what worked best for me. Uh, as you can see from the footage. This was a very slow process actually. The heat gun could not be running on full power, so uh, I had to just go through things very, very slowly. And uh, what you're actually seeing right now, it's just uh, footage that it's timed up uh, 15 times or so. When I thought I was finished uh, dyeing the carpet, I had to somehow find if uh, the dye was actually going to bloat or not. So what I've done was to just use a bit of kitchen roll and uh, some uh, microfiber cloth and uh, just push it against m multiple areas in the carpets to find out if it was taking or not. There was a few places that it was still not uh, actually glued, the, the dye wasn't actually into the fibers, so those I had to go through them again. After I finished the floor carpets, I moved on to the back of the car, so this includes the B-post panel and the rear carpets behind the seats. And uh, there's, it's just the same process for the rear carpets. And for the B-post panel, the only difference is that I covered all of the plastic bits with some masking tape so that I wouldn't paint the, the, the plastic. I'm very pleased with the end result of dyeing the carpet black. It really, really contrasts with the bright new yellow paint of the car, as you can see. And uh, I think that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. And I'll see you in the next one.